Welcome to the Football Manager's YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be going through a few general tips that I believe, every Football Manager player should know. If you are new to the Football Manager series, this is the perfect video for you as you will learn a few handy tips. If you are a Football Manager veteran, please stick around as you too may learn something new from watching this video. By now, every football manager should know that you can approach to sign a player once they're entering the last six months of their contract. There will be occasions where you approach to sign a player but they are not interested in negotiations just yet as they want to keep their options open until they are closer to the end of their deal, and this is fairly common with players whose contracts are expiring. Now, if a player in this situation is transfer listed, you can try your luck by offering them a trial as there is a possibility that the parent club may accept it. If the offer is accepted and the player arrives at your club for their trial, you will then be able to approach to sign them. It is worth noting that the parent club will not always accept your trial offer but it is still worth a shot if you ever find yourself in this situation. Speaking of trials, a player will lower their wage demands if they are offered a contract whilst they are on trial at your club, assuming that there aren't any other clubs interested in signing them. In other words, if you are interested in signing a free agent, offer them a trial first, then offer them a contract once they are on trial at your club. This is a good way to save a few bucks if you are operating on a tight budget. Whilst we are on the topic of saving money, a backroom staff member will accept a lower wage in most cases if you offer them a long-term deal. This is something worth keeping in mind when offering a contract to a backroom staff member with good attributes. When offering contracts to players that came through your youth intake, you will notice that the default contract type is youth contract. Please make sure you change this to full time to prevent other clubs from being able to approach your youth players. In certain countries like France and Spain, this means offering a higher minimum wage but considering the fact that it denies other clubs the opportunity to poach your best youth players, it is definitely worth it. Before making a signing, you should always check the player's injuries history and identify any reoccurring injuries that the player may be suffering from. If the player has a bad track record with injuries, you might want to reassess your decision to sign the player as the last thing you'd want is to splash the cash on someone with injury problems. If a player is about to join your club but you find yourself in a situation where you've changed your mind on signing him, never cancel the transfer yourself. Always delay the transfer until the selling club decides to cancel the transfer themselves as this prevents your relationship with the player's agent from being affected negatively. If you would like to learn more about agent relationships on Football Manager you can check out the video I made on the topic. When a new signing arrives at your club you have the option to ask an existing squad player to welcome them to the club. However, the player that is recommended by the game to do so may not always be the best option due to various factors. When it comes to picking the right player to welcome a new signing, they should match the following criteria. Have a better or desirable personality type, have a higher determination attribute and be able to communicate with the new signing through speaking the same language. It is important to get the right person to welcome a new signing as the welcoming period and new signing experiences could have a major impact on how well they settle at the club. A player's morale can often determine how well they perform on the pitch so it is essential to maintain good morale in the dressing room. You will find that a player's morale may improve or decline when you have a conversation with them so it is important to say the right thing. The safest conversation option that you can use to improve a player's morale is to praise their conduct and most players will react positively to this. You could also praise players who've been training well and criticize those that have not but players may react negatively if these conversations are held frequently so just be aware of that. Did you find any of these tips useful? Do you know any other tips that could help other football manager players? Comment them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager content.
Be sure to check out my Instagram page too where I document my saves. Thank you for watching and have a great day.